My name is Greg Huff. I'm the Chief Technology Officer for Industry Standard Servers at HP. Hello, I'm Scott Harsani, the Director of uh, Firmware for the ProLiant uh, Systems. So, Scott, I know that embedded management is a huge part of the value prop of a ProLiant platform. Why don't you talk about the capabilities that we have and our ILO brand and what that means to customers? Well, first of all, ILO is a an ASIC that's actually down on every system board that the ProLiant systems ship. It has some a very intelligent firmware on there that not only provides virtual presence, which means keyboard, mouse, uh, and your video is brought to a remote location, but it also controls things like your fans and gives you the best power profile and the best cooling profile of any server in the uh, industry. So I know that with our G7 ProLiance, we're actually introducing a new revision of the ILO firmware and hardware. Why don't you talk a little bit about the new capabilities that are coming out? So ILO 3 is 800% faster, and, and what that really means is, is things like when you have a remote mouse or your virtual media, all of these capabilities are significantly faster with the new ILO 3. Um, and even minor things like when you, when you go to set up an OS and everything can be considerably faster. So I know that ILO really helps a lot with the administrators on the life cycle of a server as they go to deploy it, manage change through time, decommission, all these sorts of things. Why don't you talk about how ILO 3 helps customers more than ILO 2? So with ILO 2, it was great interface, uh, industry leading. You could deploy an OS uh, very quickly and rapidly on the ProLiant systems. With new ILO 3, we've actually been able to increase that uh, the performance of that by a 30%. So for example, if it took you an hour, let's say, to install Windows on a ILO 2 system. On an ILO 3 system, it'll take you around 40 minutes, which for a server administrator, if you have hundreds of servers that you're deploying, you can see the, the great benefit of, of reducing that time across a large number of servers. So I know we've also embraced some industry standards that previously we didn't support and have uh, some new capabilities in those areas. Why don't you talk about the features that are new there as well? Sure, there's two main ones. Um, uh, NTP, which allows all the ILO 3s to be synchronized on a centralized time inside your data center. Very important if you want all the logging information and all the key pieces of data inside your data center to be synchronized on a central time. The other key one is we have a, a full and rich support for IPMI over LAN. So what that means is IPMI over LAN allows you to do quick things like power on a server, power off a server, uh, detect where the fans are if you've got faults or failures, all through an industry standard interface um, IPMI. Scott, I know we also have better user authentication and security features as well. Can you talk about those? Great. In ILO 3, we've moved all the security and the encryption into hardware as opposed to having it as a software layer. What that means is it's much more secure than, than before, and it's also much faster and, and a richer experience for the, for the user. And so I've used an ILO 3, and I know that from the, the client side, attaching to that remote console, it is really very different than with an ILO 2. Uh, I was really impressed with some of the changes. Can you describe those? Sure. Uh, with ILO 3, the remote console on the remote side allows uh, scaling of the screen. So in a great use model, if you're managing multiple servers, you can roll multiple servers onto a single screen and manage them concurrently, something that was very difficult to do in ILO 2, um, very, very easy to do with ILO 3. And with the scalable screens, you can have lots of thumbnails of the systems that you're currently managing. Very, very uh, a big step forward for us. So it seems like we really have industry-leading capabilities in this area inside HP. How did we get there? Great question. One of the great things we're able to do is we control both the ASIC side and the firmware side. So we don't buy the ASIC from the industry. We actually manufacture that here inside of HP, and we control the firmware that runs on that as well as all the software components on both ends. So when you're talking from a Windows client to a ProLiant server sitting somewhere many, many miles away, the ASIC that's doing everything on the ProLiant and the software stack running on the server as well as back on your laptop or wherever you're remoting in from all controlled and tightly looped. Uh, we do a lot of testing, and it keeps, a, it keeps us with a very tight grip on, on how the whole quality loop works there. So very, very um, compact, very, very agile, and by having control of all those points, we, we provide a very rich experience that's currently unmatched in the industry. Well, Scott, thanks for telling us about all the new capabilities in ILO 3. I'm glad to see that we're still investing to innovate and lead the industry in this important area for customers. Thank you for your time.